Alright farmers, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm on Maypole and on the mod website it says that you can remove the gates, the walls and the hedges. And that's all it says. A little bit vague on that description. So I'm here to show you how to do it. So I've come on start from scratch because you don't need to own the land. Technically. We'll say technically. Okay, so what we want to do, we're going to cut a hedge down first. So if you go into the hedge, you'll see at certain points there's a tree stump there. You're going to need a chainsaw for this. So if we'll pull our chainsaw out, we'll turn it around like you would normally. It says you don't have access to this land. So if you're using the chainsaw, you need to own the land. That's just first thing for you. Any of this, if you're using a chainsaw, you need to own the land. Now what if we don't want to own the land? So if we put that away. If you get yourself a tree stump grinder. So if we go into the forestry equipment menu. And I've got the TMC Cancella TFK200. So we don't own this land. We even go into the map. And we'll show you there. We don't own it. Got to buy that field for 37,000. So we own none of this land. So we'll get in that. There we are. We'll start it up. We reverse back. Now you want you to, what you want to do is turn the forestry mulcher on. But don't lower it. Because if you lower it, it leaves that cloud cultivated ground texture behind. So if you just have it running and just back into it. There you are. Job done. So we didn't let us do it with the tree stump, uh, with the chainsaw, but it's let us do it with the stump grinder. We didn't own that land. That's excellent. Well, it's left that stump behind. Let's do that again. Turn on. Obviously, you need to go a little slow. Let it grind it down. That's better. There you are. Job done. It's all gone away. So, that's the first one. The hedge, you don't need to own the land. You do if you own the chainsaw. If you're using the stump grinder, you don't need to own the land at all. Now, gates. If we go into the construction menu, again, we don't need to own the land for this. So we go into there, when it decides to load. So we'll spin round. So you've got that gate there. We don't own this land. You want to come across to demolish. We'll zoom in, make sure the gate is highlighted, job done, job done, that's the gate done, you don't need to own the land to do the hedges or the gates. Now what about these pesky walls, if you come over here, you need to find these light towers, that's the thing, that's the key to getting rid of the wall. Now obviously, if you're in an area that you can't get into it like that, so let's just say we left the gate there. You're going to want to get in with your chainsaw. Again, if you don't own the land, you're not going to be able to use the chainsaw. Just spin it around. There you are. Don't have access to this land. If you did own the land, if you come on New Farmer, and obviously you own this whole section, then you can cut it down. Jobs are good in. But, again, because we don't own this land, we go get our stump grinder. We'll go around here. The stump grinder has definitely got to be the easiest option to getting rid of all this stuff. Because you could just get rid of it and job done. You ain't got to mess around. You don't need to own the land either, which is excellent. So we'll turn it on. Back into it. And all the walls are gone. All the walls are gone around this field. That's brilliant. That whole wall for this section is now gone. Obviously, depending on where the wall is, you are going to need to find that light tower. Once you've found it and chopped it down, it's gone. Totally gone. Brilliant. Now, there is walls around the main road. So, how do we get rid of those? I'm going to go down to the area and I'm going to show you right now. So, I'll see you down there. Right, so the area you're going to want to be in is down at the main shop. Now, you can own this land... So we're down here, if we go all the way in, zoom in, click on the land, that little bit there 
It's only 250 to buy, so it's not a lot, but if you don't own it, there is a way around it, because you want to come to this light post here. So again, we've got our chainsaw out. We don't have access to this land. So you can either buy that little square for 250 and chop it down, or, or, there we are. You get in your mulcher, your tree harvester, your stump grinder, whatever you want to call it. Spin it around, reverse it back, turn it on. Done. Done. All those walls are gone now. All the walls around the main road will be taken out if you get rid of that light post. Jobs are good in. Now I personally think that the stump grinder is the easier option out of the two. Yes, you can go around with the chainsaw and you can cut down the hedges and you can cut down the light post. Great. Not a problem. But if you use the stump grinder because there's no collisions on the stumps in the hedges if you just turn it on like that and just drive through the hedge slowly you can do whole sections of a hedge without messing around obviously do it slowly because you know you need to grow the stump down anyway best thing is these lamp posts haven't got collisions on so you just drive straight through them that that whole section was done in about 10 seconds brilliant oh i love it so so i mean you got to take it slowly because obviously i've stopped a little short on that one and it's just left that stump there although there's no collision on it so it's not that big a deal but yeah just the aesthetics purposes Oh, that one's being a little pesky. Right, carry on. Interesting. That one's being a right little devil. Hmm. Alright, fair enough. Carry on. That one is being a little glitchy. There you are. We've done the next section and it's fine. There you have it. That's how you get rid of hedges, gates and walls in Maypole. And now it's done it. Random. <laughs> All right, we'll carry on. All right. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, hit the subscribe button. It's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.